How about them Cowboys, baby? What is this team ever doing in the playoffs? Nobody knows. I mean, I've never seen a team choke so hard in early postseason games as the Cowboys in recent years. And I'm a Falcons fan. I've, I've taken heat before. I know what the Falcons have done in the playoffs in the Super Bowl. But it's just the Cowboys every year just feel like a team that just never convinces anybody that they're actually as good as their record would indicate. This is, I mean, we're going on. This has got to be at least five or six times in the last 10 years. They've done well in the regular season. They either win the division, get a wild card, play the wild card game or the divisional game, and then just lose. And it's not like they get blown out. It's not like they just don't play well enough. And it's another one again this year. I had the 49ers winning coming into this game. Uh, I had it, I think, 30-23. to 23, So it's pretty similar scoreline. I mean, Dick, what are the, <laughs> if you're a Cowboys fan, what, what, where do you go from here? I just, I, I don't know. I got a, I got a friend of mine. Shout out to, shout out to T Rosa Beats, uh, Lazarus, Dream Big Productions. Uh, just sending me a text. He's a Cowboys fan. I mean, what, what do the Cowboys do from here, man? They just, they have this team that's built pretty well, and they just, they just fall apart when it matters. They're, they're just not clutch in the slightest. You know, is Dak Prescott the problem? Is the defense the problem? Is a lack of discipline the problem? Perhaps in this game, lack of discipline ended up costing them the game. But, I mean, you really got to ask. I, I mean, what do you do? This team's been perfectly capable of making a Super Bowl run uh, more than a handful of times in the last decade, especially since Dak Prescott's been in charge at, at quarterback. They had the year they went 13-3. and three. Um I want to say it was, what, two years ago they did pretty well as well. And then, of course, this season, they never looked super convincing. But, you know, they played. They were the, Everything was ticking. Their offense is among the best in the game, no question. They've got a great quarterback, one of the, one of the best offensive lines, one of the best receiving cores, one of the best running, if not the best running back tandem. There's no reason this team shouldn't be the highest scoring, one of the highest scoring in the league. And they are. Problem is, is they can never do it when it matters. This team is just not good enough. Maybe, you know, Tristan's telling me, when Jerry, until Jerry Jones is gone, until that man ends up in a casket, the Cowboys aren't going anywhere. And perhaps that's the answer. Perhaps the Cowboys are just cursed under the Jerry's world curse. Skip, Bell Skip Bayless ain't going to be happy about this one. But 49ers, man, 49ers fans, congratulations to you. You know, you guys beat up the Falcons pretty well a few weeks ago. Although I do believe that if the Falcons had executed... Falcons would have won that game. Um, four uh, goal line drives got stopped. Anyways, not talking about the Falcons, right? 49ers look like an impressive team. And I think they are capable of winning the Super Bowl. I've said that since they started their run of winning games. I think this is a team that is balanced on offense. Is pretty good on defense, you know, barring injuries. If there's big injuries, you know, Nick Bosa got hurt, Fred Warner got hurt, although Fred Warner was on the side. That's what they got to avoid. If they avoid injuries, this is a Super Bowl caliber team. Jimmy Garoppolo is perfectly capable of getting you a Super Bowl. You, This team does not require a superstar quarterback to do that. Of course, it's nice to have one, but Jimmy Garoppolo gets so much hate, and he's just, he's a, he's a capable quarterback. He's an average quarterback, and now with the amount of talent of quarterbacks in this league, you'd say he's a subpar quarterback quarterback you know probably somewhere in the 20 to 25 maybe a little higher than that range like somewhere around the 20 range you know he's like a ryan Tannehill type of guy he's not gonna you know get you you know he's not gonna pull out crazy wins multiple times time and time again but he's gonna get he's gonna win you games when your defense plays well and that's what happened today the 49ers defense plays well game after game they're super bowl contender and there's no question about it i put them i put tampa and i would put Green Bay. Those are the three teams I think one of them is absolutely going to be going. And I know that's three teams out of four that are left, but I I think, you know, 49ers, I think whoever wins that game with Green Bay, that's that's probably the team because I think 49ers defense can stop Tampa. And I'm excited to see what happens. I'm excited to see what happens. And uh yeah, big game, right? Cowboys fans. <laughs> Dan Quinn, as it feel to lose. As it feel to lose Dan Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Quinn.
You're trash. Get out of my face with your Trayvon Diggs. Get out of my face with your Trayvon Diggs. AJ Terrell's better. You wish you had AJ Terrell on this team. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. Trayvon Diggs is trash. Trayvon Diggs is trash. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.